Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom and I make videos that help you awaken your soul and manifest your happiest dream life. In this video, I'm going to be giving you three life-changing manifestation superpowers that I think you really must know about. And so they're superpowers because they're super simple. You can implement these every single day in your life quite effortlessly, but over time those repetitions add up and that's where the life-changing results happen. Your heart's desires come to life, whether that be a soulmate relationship or a certain state of abundance, whether it's your dream career and purpose coming to life, or whether it's an inner state of spiritual self-realization. All of these can be realized, attained and manifested by applying these three techniques. And if you're following my channel, you now know that I'm gearing my videos well, they're still for everyone, but especially to you, if you are a light worker, if you are going through a spiritual awakening and you're an awakening soul, then this video is especially for you. Because no doubt, even if you are on a spiritual journey, you still have wonderful desires. You still have a drive to help the world, to express your soul's gifts, to realize your highest potential and to find that inner peace, love and divine connection to life. And so it's going to give you all of that. Now, before we get into this video, I have an exciting announcement, and that's that I've updated my one-on-one -on -one coaching, and I'm officially opening up new slots. So if you are going through a spiritual awakening, you want guidance around that, you want to understand your purpose, and have that real accountability and empowerment to bring your desires to life, to create your dream reality, and just embody your highest potential, well, then you can check the link at the description below. And also don't forget to get the free reality shift cheat sheet for manifesting and shifting into your desired reality also at the links in the description. Okay, so let's get into the three manifestation superpowers. The first one I call the lies that you're telling yourself. It sounds kind of like a negative thing. And in a sense, it can be used unconsciously. And that's actually how I discovered this and came to give it this name. But what I mean by the lies are the little imaginal exercises that are happening within your mind on a daily basis. These can be little imaginal scenes or thought loops that are occurring in your mind about certain things. And if you haven't realized already is that your mind is kind of constantly running through certain scenarios, again, whether you're conscious of it or whether you're not. And what I found is that there are certain situations in our life where we kind of jump to the worst case scenario. We have little imaginal exercises in our mind that kind of contemplate something not working out or contemplating something in a worried, anxious, fearful way. And so what this superpower is all about is flipping those little imaginal exercises into picturing and thinking about what we want to happen, what the best case scenario is, what we prefer something that makes us feel emotionally good. And then bit by bit, changing these little repetitions of these imaginal acts and exercises again and again and again, day by day, moment by moment, to focus on what we do want to happen. So I'll give you an example. As I've been shifting my business to spiritual awakening, I was originally very apprehensive to do this because I knew I'd be shifting my audience and I didn't know if people were going to follow along with this journey with me as I spoke more about spiritual topics. And I thought this may impact my income and obviously I have rent to pay, bills, real world responsibilities in the 3D world. All that's still going on. And so as I was making this shift, I was in quite an anxious vibrational state making this shift in my business. And what I didn't realize is that I started unconsciously throughout the day imagining doing these little exercises in my mind about things going wrong. So if the business shift didn't work out, what would I do? And I kind of was playing out these negative scenarios of it failing, like calling up a credit card company, getting a credit card and then paying off my future bills and rent and everything on a credit card and going into debt or something. If for months and months I couldn't work out what to do. I also pictured calling up my dad, asking them to borrow money. And it was all these kind of scenarios just playing out unconsciously. And obviously they were tensing me up. And it would just be a little thought, a little exercise, a little picture in my mind of something bad happening. And because I was in a particularly frenzied state, I didn't even catch this. 
And I consider myself someone that should know a bit better, considering I'm in this field. But it catches you off guard. And this is what you may find in your own life, is that when you're in a stressful state and you have some scenario or situation in your life that means something to you and your mind can kind of run a little bit wild and picture the negative thing happening in the thoughts or even pictures, it's these little imaginal exercises that we want to correct. And so what I started realizing is, oh, I'm focusing on lack here in these little repetitions. And so immediately, as soon as I recognized that, I, I remembered my normal practices of focusing on what I do want. And so instead of that, I started picturing myself signing up new clients. Oh, that feels good. I pictured money coming in. I pictured these new videos taking off and having an amazing new impact on an audience that resonates with me. And I started changing these little imaginal acts and exercises into that which I did want to see and did want to happen and did make me feel good. And of course, those little repetitions, those lies I started telling myself in a positive sense, started to manifest. They started to build momentum and all of a sudden that's come true. And I've shifted my business and it's gaining momentum and people are resonating and I've been very pleasantly surprised and heartwarmed and proud that I took that shift in my business and I followed my intuition and heart on this, as challenging as it was. And so I encourage you to start lying to yourself <laughs> in a new way. Focus on that situation in your life that's important to you, that scenario where you want a certain outcome and catch yourself when you're in a negative vibration and perhaps doing unconscious little imaginal exercises in a negative sense and then flip it to what you do want to see happen. Maybe it's with your work, with a boss, with your boss. You want to imagine a conversation coming up in an important meeting going well. Well then, put your faith on it going well instead of what if it goes bad? What if it goes well? Just play it out, see it happening, have a few thoughts that are in the positive about that. The same goes for perhaps a date that you've got or an event with your partner that you're going to. See it going well. What if it does go well? Run your mind down those exercises that tap you into what you do want to experience and what you do want to see happen in your life, the results you want. And you'll notice that those unconscious thought loops that happen a lot during the day all start to be flipped into a positive direction. That is extremely powerful over, over time. It really harmonizes your inner reality and frequency with the probability and reality that you do want to manifest. And therefore, it will. That's the first one. The second manifestation superpower is what I call gratitude. This is a truly powerful inner frequency that you can start to embody. It's a combination of worthiness and gratitude. Together, I coined the phrase gratitude. It's feeling worthy of something amazing in your life and also grateful at the same time. And we tend to either focus on one or the other. And to be honest, it's quite a bit more emphasized on gratitude usually, feeling grateful for what we have or what we want or tapping into our dream reality and basking in that state of gratitude. But when it's combined with worthiness, it makes us not only feel appreciative of that amazing moment in our life or that amazing connection to our desire, but it also makes us feel worthy of it, comfortable with that happening, like it's our birthright to experience that desire or that amazing moment that's just really truly happened in our waking life. It makes us feel totally worthy of that. And together combined into the state of gratitude, that worthiness, that gratitude, basically creates a profound state of alignment in your inner frequency and starts impacting and manifesting your most positive life. So where does this state of gratitude apply? Well, it can be, as I've mentioned, when you're connecting to your desires. So say you have just imagined and had an imagination session connecting to your desires. And as you connect to it, or as you do affirmations around it, and you start feeling that feeling of it coming true within you, you start feeling worthy of that feeling and grateful of it and enter into that state there. It also can be after you've had your daily spiritual practice. If you've gone into an amazing state during your meditation, and it's really awakened this amazing dimension of, of inner unity and peace within you. Feel gratitude about that, worthy of it, deserving of that beautiful state, and also 
equally grateful to the divine source for allowing you to experience such a state. It also can be when you experience a daily win in your life. Something amazing happens. Feel worthy of that happening and feel grateful of it happening. Enter into that state of gratitude where you know you're deserving of that win, that positive result in your life. This, is, this belongs in your reality as appreciative of it as you are. So enter into this state of gratitude as much as you possibly can and you will feel ever-increasing worthiness of your dream life and gratitude of your dream life and that will start emanating out of you at such a powerful depth and manifesting truly incredible shifts to your external life and inner life. And the third and final manifestation superpower is what I call rampage of positive thoughts. <laughs> this is something I definitely was inspired to utilize from Abraham Hicks. If you've heard of Abraham Hicks, very popular law of attraction influence in my life and many. And so what it is basically about is bit by bit telling yourself rapidly positive thoughts that kind of build on each other about your situation. And usually the thoughts begin as kind of subtle positive thoughts, especially if you're feeling a little bit off and misaligned. You don't want to start at the most positive possible <laughs> affirmation that you can't believe in or connect to. But you sort of, wherever you're at, you just start thinking and telling yourself better and better positive thoughts, one after the other, after the other, after the other. And each positive thought is like a step or rung on a ladder that as you think it, it anchors in a higher frequency within you. That it then builds a momentum where you can think another thought that slightly builds on that previous positive thought and so on and so on and so on, anchoring you up to higher and higher thoughts and thus a more high inner frequency. And as your frequency of consciousness directly starts creating your reality, you'll start manifesting a better reality, especially when you apply this consistently, this technique. It gets you accustomed to really taking power of your mind, thinking the kind of conscious positive thoughts you want, to feel the frequency you want to feel, to habitualize yourself in these frequencies so that your entire life starts reflecting these higher frequencies. Now, if you're confused about how to do a rampage of positive thoughts, I'm actually going to link an Abraham Hicks video that I actually start my day off every single day. And I have been for the past several weeks. And it's very, very powerful. And it is an instance and a perfect example of a rampage of thoughts. And now I'll also give you a personal example so you can see it in action. So recently in Melbourne, we went into lockdown again. Out of nowhere, cases spiked up and we immediately been in a two-week lockdown after quite a few months of just everything basically being back 100% to normal. And so on one day, I was out and about in the city enjoying my life, no masks, everyone was out and about. I had events planned that weekend. I was very excited by life. I live by myself in the city, so I like kind of going out. And I, I have a lot of social events and things that I, I very much look forward to, including going to the gym and all this kind of stuff. And just like everyone, as soon as the lockdown goes on, it drastically changes all that and it makes you isolate. I felt myself get a little bit down about this happening. I felt a little bit misaligned. And I thought in that moment, I, I caught myself with conscious awareness and I did a rampage of positive thoughts. And it began with me saying something like, well, I may be a little bit deflated about this lockdown, but at least it's going to teach me about patience. At least it's going to deepen my empathy for those that are going through this crisis in worse ways than me. And it's also going to help me anchor in my positive habits, even through a time that's not as conducive or balanced in my normal everyday life. So if I can anchor those habits in, I'll be really proving to myself that I'm an unshakably committed positive force to my purpose. And it's going to help me at least turn within more. Because when I stay home more, I turn within more. That actually awakens a spiritual dimension within me. And that spiritual dimension, that's the most important thing to me. That awakens divine love within me. That connects me to life and the universe in the most profound ways. That's actually the best opportunity for me to anchor in the highest possible frequencies and states of consciousness for the well-being of all and to create my most amazing life, which is a reflection of what's going on with inside my consciousness. 
and it kind of went on and on and on and each thought made me feel better and I took it higher and higher but I won't keep going but you get the idea each thought I was having was painting it in a more and more positive picture it took me out of feeling deflated all the way up to aligned and actually quite excited for this lockdown for those reasons I just stated and many more that I came up with now you kind of get the gist of it you just start slowly you just don't try and fake it you genuinely build those positive thoughts one after the other after the other and they take you out of a misaligned kind of flat state all the way to a, a very aligned state and your life starts manifesting positively from there now of course i'm a massive advocate for embracing your feelings you'll know that if you followed any of my videos so if you have been triggered it's not about kind of bypassing that of course process that feeling first and I've got many videos on that in fact I'll link a couple above that offer techniques on how to process the emotion but really once you're confident that you've processed it in a sufficient satisfying way then you can start doing this rampage of positive thoughts now again I give a lot of credit to Abraham Hicks for the inspiration of this and I'm going to link that sample video down below where you can kind of see it in a much better way presented than I just did with my own example but either way that's the third manifestation superpower so those are the three superpowers and if you implement them very simply day by day it's going to change your entire life it's going to manifest your best possible life you're going to be in higher and higher states every day you practice these techniques one moment at a time and therein lies their superpower potential for you so I hope you enjoyed this video on the three manifestation superpowers if you did, please like this video, please leave me a comment, I love hearing from you, subscribe to my channel, check out my new one-on-one -on -one coaching offer if that interests you, don't forget to get the free reality shift cheat sheet, and finally stay tuned for more videos on manifestation and spirituality soon, thank you.